I think I use Transformers library more than I use water and that is why I was so excited when I learned that now this library supports visual reasoning. Visual reasoning is one of the newest technology which allows you to do reason or thinking with your images or video frames. In this video, we are going to install this new model GLM 4.1 fee 9 billion thinking and I will show you how to do visual reasoning all local all free. So let's get started. This is Fahad Meza and I welcome you to the channel. In the context of this GLM's new model, thinking refers to its ability to perform multi-step structured reasoning over visual and textual inputs rather than just perceiving and responding directly. This is enabled by introducing a thinking paradigm such as chain of thought reasoning that allows the model to break down complex tasks into intermediate steps mirroring how a human might logically work through a problem. Reinforcement learning further helps refine this reasoning process to produce more accurate, comprehensive and interpretable outputs. So thinking here signals a shift from simple pattern recognition toward deliberate, explainable problem solving across both vision and language and that is what we are going to check out in this video. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I am creating a virtual environment with Coda. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. And now let me install all the prerequisites and then I am launching my Jupyter Notebook. This is going to take a minute. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and you will also find their link in video's description. And now let's download the model first. And there are four shards of it. So let's wait. And the model is now downloaded. Now let me show you how to do the visual thinking or visual uh, chain of thought. For that, I'm going to use this code chunk. Now I'm providing it this image from my local system and I'm asking it what beer is looking at. And then it's uh, rest of it is same as before where we are encoding this input and then model is generating the output with the help of some of the hyperparameters and we are then printing it out after decoding it. So let's run this. And while it runs, let's also check the VRAM consumption. So it is fully loaded onto the GPU. So consuming over 20 gig of VRAM. Okay, so there you go. So this is the reasoning. Now you see, first it is understanding what the problem is. So it says, got it, let's look at the image. The beer is standing near a stream with rocks and its gaze seemed to be directed towards something. So it has really jumped right into my instruction and it is following it and providing us the targeted precise answer. But in the same chain of thought fashion where it is saying wait the question is asking what the peer is looking at so it is again trying to make sure it understands the question it is checking the direction of its eyes the beer's head is turned maybe looking at the camera or something in front but the image shows a beer's face so maybe it's looking at the viewer or something in the direction of the camera wait the beer's mouth is open a bit so let's check it yep it's open a bit the main thing is the direction of its case. So you see, the understanding is really great. Since the image is a close-up of the bear, it's likely looking towards the camera in front of it. So this is where it has finished its thinking. And the answer is to determine what the bear is looking at, observe the direction of its case. The bear's head is oriented towards the front. Thus, the final result is that we ca the camera or the viewer. It's a very good answer, by the way, because of course there is something which is looking at it. It could be camera, it could be viewer, and no one knows. So model has given a very precise answer, whatever the circumstances were. So very impressive, by the way. 
okay let's check out its ocr capabilities plus some of the tabular and other data so i am giving it this invoice which is as you can see the date is november 2023 and the question is that i forgot to pay this invoice last year it's july 2025 now with six percent interest rate how much in total do i need to pay now so let's see what model does here so not only it is checking its reasoning its ocr image understanding invoice understanding tabular data plus if it can give me some calculations i paused the video and it's been around five minutes it is still thinking so the more complex the prompt is and the problem is it is going to think harder and after seven minutes it has come back and look at the reasoning and i'm sorry about uh, you know there is no formatting here i understand but look at the reasoning so what it has done here it has started thinking it has understood the problem it is understanding that current date is july 2025 and from this date to this it is one year and then from this to this it is uh, calculating the number of days so it is figuring out the problem it is understood the problem that it needs to first make sure the dates are correct and now the, all of this is a calculation of interest on the what uh, whatever i gave it and it has even come up with a formula there you go so it has created the formula by itself it is thinking it is thinking and it is still thinking and now here it is when it finished thinking it is telling us okay this is what it has <clears throat> sorry what it has done and this is the answer which is totally correct really really good stuff so it has calculated the interest with its own formula add the interest to the principal and now it is telling me this very very good answer okay, next up i am giving it the pure ocr question so i have given it this image which contains multiple languages and um, some content around happiness so i'm asking it to extract the text from this image and tell what is the core theme of this text also identify the languages in the text and it has come back with the answer so it is saying got it let's tackle this problem step by step so it understands that it needs to extract the text first which it has done let's compare it sorry not this one this is the image which we are going to test so you see if i compare it with the text it looks quite good to me the hindi looks good you know visually i can say these things look like chinese and stuff but if you are that language speaker please confirm uh, all the arabic and everything where is arabic okay i don't see that it is done correctly but anyway so more or less ocr is okay not uh, world class but still okay i would say um now the reasoning part looks really really cool so you see the first part is english then french then spanish german german again portuguese french chinese russian and then it is talking about all the languages most of them it has got right and then it has i don't think it can do arabic you see it's not even in the list of the languages other than that it looks okay to me i'm not sure about armenian here uh, it is russian it is not really uh, i don't know why it is going with armenian and ukrainian anyway so it is talking about the core theme which it has got right so ocr is not maybe the forte of this model but i think uh, overall vision is quite good and then it is confirming the extraction that is good and it is you know again it is checking its answer which is quite good i like it and it is trying to you know uh, rectify it but other than that the final answer where it has identified the languages it has missed few but i think overall it's not that bad and it has identified the core of the text pretty good okay so in the next one what i'm going to do i'm going to use this screenshot so i just want to see if it can be used as a screen actor so maybe i will just go and ask it if it can uh, deploy this jetty how to deploy this jetty 7 billion model from this image okay so the model is running and it has come back quite quickly it says 
let's look at the image option for deployment are probably in the button there's a deploy button with a drop down right so it's asking me or what so the action would be to click the deploy button let me check the interface the buttons are trained deploy use this model it is thinking very correctly and ultimately the answer is deploy really nice it's a very very good model by the way in terms of screen gui and reasoning as you can see okay now finally let's tackle a real world problem so this is an ai generated model and i am asking the my ai model which is glm that all right listen up vision master i am jobless spectacularly average looking on a good day aggressively lazy proudly unshowered slightly moldy and my last relationship was with a half-eaten pizza but i have decided it's time to date her yes the flawless bombshell in the image legs for days teeth like a colgate ad probably owns a penthouse yacht and a startup she looks like she steps out of a walk cover just to remind peasants like me that moisturizers exist now i refuse to change self-improvement is a scam gym is a cult and i believe deodorant is a government conspiracy you're not my therapist or my dad so no lectures just give me the master plan how do i woo this celestial being of perfection and convince her i am the man of her dreams or at least mildly tolerable and make it snappy cousin of a pot time is money and i have neither and you see while i read it model is still thinking i think model is just uh, wondering what the heck uh, i have gotten myself into anyway so there you go let me see what exactly it did it says got it let's tackle this so user wants a master plan to a super attractive woman they are not changing for first need to be honest about their situation but find ways to connect without self-improvement let's break it down so it has understood the humor and challenge average lazy and all this stuff approach approach with confidence even if fake but maybe genuine even if they're not perfect Find common ground, be genuine, create a memorable first impression, connection. Now structure the plan. So it is planning, you know, shared humor and interest and all that stuff. Authenticity, small gesture, maybe bring something like a funny card or pizza if appropriate. Then connection and then it is outlining all those steps. That is still thinking, you see it is just changing, improving that plan not gonna work by the way but anyway so the answer is that the plan uses humor relatability and small gesture to connect without self-improvement time to execute and there is also a pizza slice a nice touch that's it uh, i hope that you enjoyed it please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching